Welcome again to Educator.com for academic writing. Remember in the last lesson, we went over some very, very broad kind of organization strategies. For the next few lessons, what we're going to be going over is very specific organization strategies. And we're going to start with listing and classification. Okay, now the purpose of listing and classification is to divide your topic into several different categories. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. And it's also to describe or define those categories themselves. Well, what's the difference between a fish and a marine mammal? Well, those are two different categories, and we need to define what those categories are, as opposed to saying, you know, sharks and whales. That's not telling me what those categories mean. Um, also, it's very simple to just describe several objects in a set. What's great about listing and classification is if you don't know how to organize your points in either your paragraph or in your entire essay, you could always just go back to listing and classification. It's the easiest to understand and it's the easiest to write. When you're going into your details, it's usually one item or classification per paragraph. And then these minor details are usually describing that classification or giving specific examples of that type of classification. For instance, if I said computer electronics, I might say iPod as an example of computer electronics. Or if I was to say mobile device and said iPod, that's an example of a mobile device. Those are really, really simple, easy to understand. So we're going to start off playing the good old fashioned Sesame Street game of one of these things is not like the other, one of these things just doesn't belong. And we have several items here. And we need to figure out what items belong in kind of a set together, in a larger category. Now here's the, here's the tricky part. Baseball, golf, basketball, and football, they're all sports, right? Yes, they're all sports. So don't they all belong in the same category? Well, yes. Uh, they all involve, you know, some kind of ball, right? Well, yes. But what, what do baseball, football, and basketball have that golf doesn't? Well, baseball, football, and basketball all involve teams. So golf doesn't belong in this list anymore. So what I would do is I would call this larger category my team sports, and I would put basketball, football, baseball, football, and basketball in it, and golf right over here. That kind of belongs in its own little land, and we're not worrying about that right now. Notice, I have three major supporting details now. I could write an essay if I wanted to.